All right, what what month is coming up? This is Double Doty, our nameless podcast that isn't a podcast but has a name that we're using for every episode. And I hate it. You I hate, hate both pieces of information that I just... The fact that it's a mm, podcast. Yes. And the fact that... I hate that it's called Double Doty. Okay. Alliteration Agreed. just kind of really... I also hate it, but we have yet to come up with... Like, what you watching? That's yeah. no, not. <laughs> what you watch it? That doesn't work. The, what it you works, listening it to? It works really well for the what you listening to. Yeah, shameless plug. Go check out our new uh, series. What you listening to? There you go. <laughs> it's uh, so uh, similar to this, but it, we're going to rotate through all the employees, and everybody's going to make a playlist. Some sort of theme, really sort of open ended. Um, wanted everybody to kind of share just something that they care about. We're going to start with sports. Okay. There was a, I is it have you not is it a trivia thing? Like I've been to several trivia nights at different locations with different companies that do it and whenever they have a category, whenever sports is the category, like everybody there goes sports. Like, it's kind of like the, the science fuck? thing. Yeah. Like if you like go to like yeah. a nerdy bar. Maybe, maybe, science? okay. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's supposed to be science and just because I go to sports bars a lot. It's sports. Interesting. It's so quirky. It's so quirky. The sports, anyway, sports bars know. are quirky. So we're doing sports. Um, September is football month, man. That's, uh, that's, that's really it. That's, and American football. I'm okay. Not international, imperial football, not metric football. I'm okay if with you fo- will. I'm okay with American football. I had a conversation with uh, one of my roommates last night, very deep about the imperial system and the metric system. Fascinating. It was. I mean, it was fun at the time, but yeah, it probably is not worth recounting <laughs> during this. I've had many experiences show. of that. Totally sober. <laughs> where where I've, instances like that have happened? Yes, totally yes. sober. Hundred percent sober. I mean, it got deep. We were. It was very philosophical. For did you guys hug at the end? Was it like a? Debate? Oh, it wasn't an argument. No, it, it was. was it just, wasn't a debate. Like, it was an exploring. We were exploring each other's brains, okay. basically. Sexual, but good. I mean, yeah, no. It was intellectually stimulating. No, no judgment like here, my guy. Another sexual word. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, digging into his moist brain his moist I was, thoughts I was getting into those folds I was just, I thought you were debating like somebody oh, was like no. pro imperial system no. somebody was anti imperial system so I you know I I, I did kind of take the devil's advocate and was like these are the only things I can think of that are pro imperial system because there really aren't a lot of valid reasons you would at all I you know you would take I, my my advocate. overall argument was that the effort to change wasn't worth the gain. Um, it was more of a like value analysis proposition kind of thing. So, speaking yeah. of value analysis, we're talking about American football. <laughs> American football. Let's get back on track, guy. Okay? All right. Stay focused. September. Isn't yeah. Labor Day? Labor Day is like the fifth, right? Who knows? Is it the fifth? Who knows? The shadow knows. I think it's the fifth. Anyway. Continue. Happy Labor Day? Doesn't matter. American football. Okay, sorry. Let's get through this. American football. Get through sports. Yeah. Um, Chick Fil A kickoff game is kind of what I consider. I think a lot of people consider the beginning of college football. Um, there are some games earlier, but the first like big ones are the Chick Fil A kickoff game. And this year they have two. I don't know how they managed to keep adding this stuff in. Um, they have something called Week Zero this year, where it's like all these like small teams playing. Um, and sorry for insulting all of the people that support the teams that I just called small. That's that's on me. My bad. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like the beginning of a like a post apocalyptic movie. Yeah. Zero week. Yeah. <laughs> Chick Fil A kickoff game. Zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Three weeks later, everyone's dead except for Silly and Murphy. <laughs> you just you just described twenty eight days later. No. <laughs> anyway. Maybe. Brendan um, Gleeson. <laughs> we got UGA Oregon on the third. This is the Chick- Chick-fil-A kickoff game. And then Clemson against Georgia Tech on the fifth. Yay. Um, who you got? Pick U- one. U- UGA. Okay. And? Cl- 
Clemson. Yeah, that's I'm right there with you, buddy. I think. Yeah. I think uh, if 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 I were a betting man, Oregon's good though, right? Uh, yeah, but they're not. I don't think they're UGA good. Okay. But that should be a good game. Clemson Georgia Tech should be an absolute rout. Yeah. It should be just ugly. When was the last time Georgia Tech was good? When uh, Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson is that? Kinda? That's what I thought. They were kind of fun with the yeah the triple option, but it was it was mostly just like every so often they'd go up against a good team and just completely throw them off because they weren't ready for the triple option. Or like or like their like, de- the opposing team's defense. Like, yeah, knew what it feels like ever since ever since the triple option went away, it they haven't even been interesting to me to watch. No. Like so, right. kind of sucks, but. I don't know. I don't really have a team, even though I went to Tech in college football. But I love watching college football. It's so much more exciting to me than the NFL. I like. I like. I like the first one. I don't know. Why. Yeah. Well, good segue because NFL Week One is the week after on the eighth. Starts with Bills Rams. That's what I'm here um, for. That's Week One. Um, I'm uh, boycotting the Falcons this year actively. <laughs> Last year, I just didn't care. What happened? And didn't watch them. I don't even. I don't actually. So they, uh, pers- they actively and very like publicly pursued a trade for Deshaun Watson. Oh, it didn't turn out. It ended up not getting Deshaun Watson, yeah. who is now suspended for eleven games for stealing, like, crack sexually legs. harassing uh, over twenty women that's in way Houston. Worse. That's way worse. And <laughs> he's now on the Cleveland Browns. Suspended for eleven, the first eleven games, getting paid an absurd amount of money to not play, and because we did that, Matt Ryan got totally justifiably pissed off and basically demanded a trade, and so he is now on the Indianapolis Colts. So I will be repping the Colts this year. Yes, Matty Ice. Going with Matty Ice, getting this man a ring finally. Now the now the uniforms are going to match his nickname. Yeah, yeah, like a Good big call. old, like a big old ice cube. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. So yeah. we're getting Colts shirts. Yeah. One of my buddies is from Indiana and is a Colts fan already, so he has already agreed to buy me a Colts Matt Ryan T-shirt. Um, and I have another friend who is a diehard Ravens fan who is very upset that I won't be a Ravens fan this year. So maybe going house divided. Scorched Ravens shirt. as well. Scorched turns yeah. policy, Chris. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's my take on the NFL season. Uh, boycotting the Falcons because they're a trash franchise. Um, Rams won the Super Bowl. I I so, I, I heard this. And the Bills time. are really good. This is going to be a really good opening the game. The Bills are good. Yeah, oh yeah, very good. Since, They've won their division since when? like don't look maybe won like their that division rough. several years in a row. Ever since Tom Brady left, they have basically dominated. Yeah, and then Tom Brady came yeah. to us. Why? No, Tom Brady. I knew mean, he's, oh, he's in the Buccaneers, yeah. but he's like in our. That's a weird story too. Apparently, he hasn't shown up yet. Nobody knows what he's doing. <laughs> I saw some theory that he's on the Masked Singer, and nobody wants to like give it away. Which is a hilarious exa- our, uh, explanation for. I've, I've never seen an episode of that show, but I. This is the closest I've ever gotten to caring about it is because of a fan theory that Tom Brady <laughs> hasn't shown up to training camp because he may be the masked singer, which is just fantastic. Should I think about I it? I love the internet sometimes. Should I go to practice? Yeah. Oh, I gotta <laughs> sing it. I feel like not showing up to training camp if you were the masked singer is counterproductive because you're like... In the yeah. yeah, like if you showed up, then nobody would be talking about you potentially being the masked singer, right? Well, also, like... He's not. I don't think he is. I can't imagine that they would have enough money to make him decide to do that. That's like when, uh, what is it, Carol Baskins was on Dancing with Stars? <laughs> yeah. Or, no, wait, was it was Sean it? Spicer was on there, yeah. too? Yeah. <laughs> so I was like... Yeah, I was like... They're like, oh. That was Twilight Zone territory yeah. for me, my guy. I was like, <laughs> what? Sean Spicer, huh? So, Bills or Rams? Bills. Okay, I'll take Rams. I'm going to say, because usually after a team wins the Super Bowl, yeah. they come back and yeah, fall off. Yeah. yeah. It's like a hangover. Yeah. Um, anyway, that that's all sports. That's all we got. Fantastic. Sports. You good? Yes. I was going to put, like, some tennis in there <laughs> and golf, but I decided to spare you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Especially with baseball playoffs coming up <laughs> soon. So, that's These all people will be hitting the ball with the racket. 
and these people will be hitting a ball with a piece well, of metal. We metal to- stick. <laughs> we did this out of order though, because I really I wanted to start with like a review of August. So, okay. have you watched anything that we talked about? Is there anything that stands out? What did we talk about? Bullet Train was one um, oh, yeah, that, that did it. For, that was great. I mean, it, it sort of met my expectations. I guess is what I would say. Um, it wasn't like spectacular, mm-hmm. but it was it was everything I wanted it to be. Um, it's exciting. There's good character development for like an action movie that is set on a train. You know, mm-hmm. and like Brad Pitt is great in it because he's like found, and there's some good cameos that I won't spoil. But like, um, Brad Pitt is like sort of, sort of, uh, he's seen a therapist, and so he's like very like all about conflict resolution and being peaceful and stuff. But he's also like an assassin, or like he's you know is he's, he's sort of it. It's great. It's okay. it's definitely worth a watch once okay. it comes out, but. Um, did you guys watch, uh, was today, the 23rd? So House of Dragons came out? I was just gonna say, 23rd, Sunday? Saints Row apparently came out. Yeah, Saints Row is out. I watched the first hour. Um, there's a, um, uh, Alana Pierce, who I think I've talked yeah. about here. She does first hour gameplays, and she did a first hour of Saints Row, and it looked super buggy. Oh, did So I'm kind of waiting okay. for some other reviews. Okay, no work. Um, um did you watch see. Sandman? Uh, no, I still haven't. Okay. So I watched it. Um, day shift. Saw I know day, you guys were watching that. Saw day shift. How was that? Uh, the story, like, it's okay. You can definitely tell, like, by the end of the second act and the third act. Third act is like, you know, they go zero to eleven pretty quick. Yeah. Just to kind of wrap up the story, but the the fight scenes in it, um, were. <laughs> very enjoyable like they did oh, cool. they went full out with that yeah um what's the guy's name not jamie fox i knew jamie fox is in it. he was fine yeah. uh dave franco yeah hilarious yeah dave franco's good snoop dogg had yeah. it wasn't just a cameo like it was he's an actual like in part <laughs> you know and he you know he does he does he does this thing memory it's i mean it's it's awesome yeah yeah okay did you watch uh, house of the House of the Dragon or whatever? No, no, no. I, I haven't I watched it. Done that yet. I've only seen season one of Game of Thrones, so I felt like... I feel like some of the stuff also got pushed back, because, like... The Fool? Yeah. It's actually called This, this Fool. Fool. Yeah. And we've seen a couple episodes of that. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, Do you watch... So Andor got pushed back. I don't know why I had it? it that we talked about it, because we're going to talk about it again today. Okay. For, like, mentioning it anyway. But okay. I haven't watched She-Hulk... Um, a lot of the like nerdy influencers that I follow on social media love it, but they love anything that comes out that's yeah. Marvel related. So apparently it's funny though, which yeah, it's is kind of cool. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, it looks it looks funny, and apparently she's going to be in Avengers in the that come out next year. I feel like it's just a given that if you sign up to be in a yeah, you're going to be Marvel, this, then you're going to be you, in you're signing on for yeah ten years minimum. Yeah, I didn't really watch the Field of Dreams game I watched. Um, it was kind of... Cubs Rebs was bad. Was it? Um, it's just... I mean, they're just not very good teams at this point. They got a lot of in- injuries and that kind of stuff. I saw Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Um, it was supposed to be a horror comedy. It wasn't really funny. Um, and it was... I don't know. It wasn't real gory. Um, and it, it, it had me guessing the whole time, but the end, I was kind of like, really? Like, like, it made sense, and it, like, legitimately is one of the few, like, horror movies where I was, like, looking back at it, I'm like, that could actually happen. Like, all of the decisions that were made and all the reactions to stuff are very, like, reasonable, even though they're very emotional and, like, they're, like, panicking, kind of. Mm-hmm. But, like, there isn't a moment where they're, like... You know that, like, Geico commercial where they're, like, let's go hide behind the chainsaws? Yeah. You know, like... Or get in the running car. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's none of that, like, where it's, like, that was dumb. Right? Um, and there's, like... I just... The... the Like, the, the payoff at the end, like, the reveal, and, like, when they resolve everything, it was just kind of, like... It makes sense, but I was like... The payoff wasn't there. Yeah, I, well, I just wanted more. Now we're... Let's let's talk about September. Yes. Um, games is a little light. Um, I, I dug out a few that I might try out, but the... the Really, the only big one is a remake. 
Which we already talked about. Yeah, Last of Us Part 1 comes out. Yeah. On the second. The rebuild. Oh, it's rebuild. Than... Yeah. So, the the most intriguing thing... The most intriguing thing I've seen about it so far to me is that the enemy AI has been updated to what was in Last of Us 2, so it's harder. And yeah, way more terrifying. Yeah, yeah, because, like, they're actually... Like, the enemies actually, like, pay attention and work together. It's also sadder, though. Because if you, like, shoot one person... And you can, like, hear, like, yeah. another person be like, Dave! Like, oh, no, Dave! <laughs> yeah, and then they get really upset, and then they hunt you down <laughs> harder. It's kind of pretty awesome. But, they, uh, had a, they had a... Uh, it was kind of good timing for this, too, which is, I, I think, totally intentional. Because um, they just had, like, a teaser trailer for the show. Oh, did they? On HBO. Oh, came wow. out, I think, during... Or before uh, House of the Dragon. Okay. I think. Cool. So, um, which is weird, though, because, like... The updated character models in Last of Us Part 1 do not look anything like the characters or the actors they hired to play the characters in the show. No. But I think it's still going to be good. It's just, I wish they looked, because it's so photorealistic, the game is, that like it doesn't feel like the same characters. Like yeah. Pedro Pascal doesn't look old enough to be Joel. Any... And Ellie isn't, shouldn't look like and Ellie. The chick that plays Ellie, yeah. the like voice character... It's yeah. an actress yeah. in many things. Right. But I can understand, like... Yeah, trying to separate that. And I just... it It's going to be a tough... It's going to be a tough story to tell, I think, as a show. But I hope they do a really good job. Because I, I want people to experience the story who didn't want to play the game. Who yeah. aren't gamers, right? Who don't want to go through the parts where it's a video game. Right. Um, anyway. Um, I found a couple others. Um, I, Steel Rising kind of stuck out to me. Um, it's a PS5, Xbox Series, um, and PC exclusive. So it's like next gen kind of. Yeah. It's a Souls-like. Um, it looks very much like Dark Souls. Um, or, you know, um, Elden Ring. But it's set in like this alternate universe French Revolution cool. time period. And you play as an... Automaton? How do you say that? I don't know. Sounds good. Is it yeah. like, a, like a robot? Yeah, like a robot. Like an automated robot. Like an yeah. AI-controlled robot, right? So uh-huh. so there are other automatons that you're fighting against, but then there are people too and that kind of thing. But it has these like aspects almost look like like cyberpunk light where you could like modify parts of your robot body to gain new weapons or abilities and that kind of stuff. But, um, but why is it during the French Revolution? I don't know. It's in Paris it during like, the French Revolution. It's and a weird it's, mishmash. Yeah, it is. But it looks very, like, it looks like Dark Souls. Like, I think they went for, like, they were like, we want, like, a dark time period where it's, like, dirty and grimy and all that stuff. But I then they it. wanted, like, robots and stuff in it to, like, have the, it's like, flexibility yeah. with the character and that kind of stuff. Um, it looks interesting. Um, I'll probably check it out. If it, um, if it works, it'll be cool. Yeah, if the gameplay is good, then then it'll be worth it. Um, it did look, you know, very like the the combat is very Dark Soulsy. Okay. Yeah. So that's all the video games. Um, there's some stuff coming up. We're getting close to video game season now. I I think we've been saying that every episode. Yeah. Just but waiting. it kind of feels like it starts in like October, right? Yeah, because it be all the ones month. come out like during Because like Gotham season. Knights comes out in October. There's a couple other. And then November and December is yeah. where the, the holiday season where everything. That's video games. Um, so let's talk. I, there's several movies that are coming out um, mm-hmm. in September that I liked. Um, I, I started like sort of keeping track while I'm watching trailers. Um, and so I start with one that it may or may not be good. I don't know. It, it's, it definitely... Um, caught my eye in the trailer is called Honk for Jesus um, and it's uh, Sterling K. Brown is like this like mega church like TV evangelist mm-hmm. kind of Baptist preacher and Regina Hall is like the main character and she's his wife so it looks like a comedy he's kind of disgraced and they're trying to build back up and it's a comedy but also like probably a lot of pointed criticism of that kind of stuff. And Starley K. Brown and Regina Hall are great. So, yeah, they're both awesome. Um, that, that comes out on the second. Um, looks very interesting. And then another... Um, <clears throat> and then some very different stuff. Um, the Woman King, 
uh, I've seen. Woman King yeah. comes out on the 16th. Uh, Viola Davis is the uh, the lead there. Yeah. Um, and it's about a group of female warriors who protect this African kingdom called Dahomey, I think. Dahomey. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's one of those. Okay. Um, it's an African kingdom in like the 1800s, 18, 1900s. And it's supposed to be like the fiercest female warriors like ever on the planet. And it's a historical epic. It's based on true events and that kind of stuff. So it's, Viola Davis is like the leader and she's like training like a new group of female warriors to protect their kingdom. Sounds cool. Um, it Very looks cool. great. Um, John Boyega? Yeah, John Boyega. And Hero finds Tiffin? No oh, idea who it is. I don't know. He's in after something yeah hero finds tiffin i was trying to figure out if he's related to ralph fines but i couldn't find any link but anyway yeah we're gonna talk about ralph fines uh in november too because there's a cool movie that called the menu teaser yeah. um the trailer looks awesome for that yeah. um uh there's a david bowie uh movie coming out on the 16th called moon age dream um, and it Moon looks age. wild. Like Moon it Age is Daydream? Daydream. Moon Age yeah. Daydream, yeah. And it's it is it looks crazy. It's all like like never before seen like behind the scenes footage and like interviews and all this kind of stuff. So it's like actual footage. It's not like a you know, it's not a fictional sort of telling of it. It's just a, it's like a documentary about David Bowie. Okay. Um looks cool. Um and then one of the ones that I'm looking forward to the most in September is Don't Worry, Darling. Um, the cast is killer. <clears throat> Florence Pugh is, like, I think I've already talked about this when we talked about um, Hawkeye. But I'm obsessed with Florence Pugh. She's amazing. Yeah. She's great. No, yeah, she's awesome. Um, so she's she's the protagonist. Um, she, her husband is Harry Styles. And they end up joining this, like experimental like perfect community looks very like stepford wives almost and mm -hmm. like shit gets wild like there's some stressful looking scenes yeah Chris it, pine is kind of the leader it does like the the trailer make gives it that kind of vibe where it's like very stressful yeah um, hot thriller kind of yeah psychological thriller looks really good and it's olivia wilde is in it and she's directing it it's yeah. her directorial debut I no what's she doing book smart that was a good. That was a good movie. She's a good director. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. There you go. Yeah. And then one that I keep seeing trailers for that's creepy, super creepy is Smile. Um, is it a horror I don't movie? know who's in it. Yeah, it's a it's a psychological thriller horror. Oh, everybody's movie. smiling. Everyone or they is get just like sick. creepy smiling. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I just saw the trailer for so that. The recently. longer trailer is like, she's like a psychiatrist, and one of her patients kills herself like during a session. But then she starts seeing all these things that her the patient was talking about. Oh god. And so like she's got like a week to figure it out. So and it's then, the ring, except with yeah, smiles. Yeah, very yeah, very ring vibes, definitely. Okay. But it just I don't know that I'm actually even gonna see it, but it it's I'll getting like, a hella like trailer time. Huh. I'll and probably so, watch on streaming in a in a yeah, year or two. That's fair. Um and then Clerks three. Is actually coming out on September 13th. Um, this movie apparently has been like in the making. In, they've been making it for 10 years, sort of, mm -hmm. right? Um, right now, I think it only has like a one or two day run in theaters. But the ticket demand apparently has been so great that they've been adding more dates. Well, I think Because they don't really have a, like a, a, a big... Yeah, they don't have a big like publishing distribution company backing it well i mean that's it's that's like classic, published, classic kevin smith yeah. like marketing play right there yeah if you haven't seen clerks um i i don't know what to say i can't it's it clerks one and two are phenomenal Dude. and very stupid and very raunchy and they're just i i don't know they, if you like them you love them and if you don't like it then you probably think that i'm an idiot for recommending it but, but we still appreciate you watching this. Yeah, thanks. Video. For watching. Yeah. What I actually wanted to start with this episode, and we're going to start with from now on, is the reviewing. 
there were two things that I missed that I wanted to include in August that are that are out already you can go see 3,000 years of longing is looks awesome I don't know how I missed it the Just, George Miller movie yeah uh, with Tilda Swinton and Idris Elba is a genie it's it looks crazy what does one do with three wishes you'll see It's like Aladdin. And it was in theaters. Yeah, it's in theaters. And uh-huh. then this, uh, the other one that you have. Yeah, Welcome to Wrexham. You, you heard about this? I have heard about it, but I couldn't tell if it was a documentary or if it was just like a... It's like a documentary. It's not like a joke. Like, yeah, like they, they actually bought, bought... They bought this team. It's the third oldest football team. Soccer. Mm-hmm. Like metric football. Um, you like that joke? <clears throat> and it's just like very like small town from what I understand and like all they care about is just, not all they care about but the whole town fucking loves this football club right? right but they're like in the fifth tier of soccer of English soccer leagues well, those are some of the most passionate fans you can <laughs> yeah. find them and so they're like I, I it literally feels like they I granted Rob McElhaney and Ryan Reynolds are both as far as I know big huge soccer fans mm-hmm. right so it's not but it feels like they saw Ted Lasso and they were like, we could just do that. And But instead they bought a team. Yeah. So they do that. bought them like, and they're trying to like basically run them and like become the Cinderella story. So they, they, they bought the team in 2020. Uh-huh. And this is like, yeah, like, I don't know if it's a docu... It's a documentary, kind of, <laughs> about them doing this. I mean... It's on FX. That's Welcome interesting. to Wrexham. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah. The shows uh, this this month were man. Some of the lists and some of the resources I found are just overwhelming, and it would take me like it would literally take me all month to like filter through the stuff. So I'm trying. I'm trying to find better resources, um, or at least more focused resources. But I will run through. I, I tried to limit it to two or three in some cases. Um, things per streaming service. I'll just um, give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That'll work. Monday. All right, Amazon Prime. That Amazon Prime won September, without a doubt. Okay. Rings of Power, L- Lord of the Rings, um, super prequel. Nerdvana. Nice. Yeah, it's super prequel, right? I mean, it's supposed to be the second age. Um, so it's like basically the time in that universe where like all the legends that they talk about in the Lord of the Rings trilogy like Sauron happening. actually becomes yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. all of that shit <clears throat> elf, and they make the elf bitches they make the rings of power yo yeah all that guess yeah okay. so it's called the rings of power that comes out on the second starts on the second it's I from all the things I've read so far it's incredible like they put a shitload of money into it Jeff, Jeffrey Bezos yeah man so funny. Yeah. Um, and then found this interesting one called Jungle. Um, it's a UK um, limited series. I think it's six episodes. And it's kind of... It's a story of a bunch of strangers whose lives are kind of intertangled. And like them dealing with it. But it's set and told through the lens of like UK rap and drill music. And that scene. And like trying to come up in that scene and apparently it's yeah it looks awesome um it looks very well shot and directed and all of that and a lot of the story is apparently told through music oh, cool. in it because obviously it's about music so that comes out on september 30th and looks really interesting um but there's a cool uh show called devil in ohio i don't know if cool is the right way to never, put it never it looks it. dark as hell but it has emily, emily deschanel really yeah. From Bones. Yeah, I knew you were going to bring that up. Yeah. Emily Deschanel, um, it's a horror mystery show. I'm down. Um, and then uh, Cobra Kai Season 5 starts... That comes out... Sorry, jump, uh, Devil in Ohio is on the 2nd. Yeah. Uh, Cobra Kai Season 5 comes out on the 9th. I'm blown away that they're up to Season 5. Me too. I actually haven't even watched any of it. Me but either. I know... 
it was huge when it first came out. Oh yeah. Well, right? I mean, it's it like, nostalgia factor for yeah, a lot of like people. Yeah, like season one and two, like were people were freaking out about. So I'm surprised they have five seasons worth of content. You know? Yeah. Disney Plus has a show we talked about last month. I don't know what the hell happened. I probably messed up. They, Chances are I messed up and said it was August 31st. It's actually coming out September 21st. They may have pushed it back. Who knows? I mean, it's possible. Do you know, Does August even have 31 days? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Does it? Don't just cut that out. Yeah. That was Patreon content. You don't have to cut that out. You can leave that <laughs> in there. That could be on uh That's a merch. Yeah. That's a sticker. Does a sticker August court. have 31 days? Sticker card. Chris Doty, Michael Scott. <laughs> Um, Andor is what we, we're talking about. Comes out on the twenty first. Yeah. Not Endor. Not Endor. Go back and watch the August episode if yeah. you don't get that. <laughs> Not nope. teddy bears. No teddy bears. Stormtroopers. This is a guy. Cassian Andor. Andor. Cassian and- Andor. Andor. One of the uh, formative figures of the rebellion for the good trilogy. Is he though? He's he's going to be. Okay. It's not currently. But he also dies. Has to. At, he dies in Rogue One. So, yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. Doesn't matter. He's not going to make it through this series. He's not going to make it. But that's okay. That's okay. Good for him. Way to go, Kathleen Kennedy. Just... Get that money. Just milking it. Get that money. Here's the Star Wars teat. Just... And I'm interested to know about this next one. <laughs> if you're going to... That one's getting cut. Okay. <laughs> Patreon content. Um, <laughs> how about Hocus Pocus 2, bro? <laughs> I'm upset with Rob right now. I don't yeah? know. Yeah? I don't like want to talk Very about. dismissive hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to cut something? You want something to cut, Rob? <laughs> this is gonna I'll start the, saying... This is going to be the shortest episode. I'll start saying some shit. <laughs> Anyways, Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> God. I'm really excited actually about Hocus Pocus 2. Are you? I was, oh, okay. Right, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't sure. I'm, when uh, was the last time you watched the original Hocus Pocus? It's been a very long time. It holds but up. But I still remember like the I put a spell on you song is like that lives in my head. What about time. what about the song that Sarah Jessica Parker sings when she's like uh, entrancing all the kids like come little children oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take you uh, away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, did you watch this yesterday? No. Okay. All right. It's in my brain. Word. Yeah. That comes out on the 30th, just in time for Halloween season to get into full swing. They already got Halloween stuff up in Home Depot like crazy. I got some hell crazy stuff. They missed it by a whole month, though. Bro, it's why up in it August. Like, why wouldn't, I was going why to get moving No, supplies. I'm saying, why wouldn't Hocus Pocus 2 come out closer to Halloween? I've, yeah, a month you're, right. Early. you're right. I don't know why they wouldn't just put it out a month later. That's all right. Um, so, yeah. We could, we could just sit here and talk about it. Yeah, let's think about it. That's Disney Plus for us. Right? There's some other kid stuff, but ask your kids about that. Don't ask us. It's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> stop That's creepy. all I watch. Yeah, stop being creepy. I only watch the kids shows <laughs> on streaming services. Coco Melon. I don't even... Is that what it's called? <laughs> Hulu! Talk, talk about Hulu right now. Um, I don't really watch Hulu very much, so it's all. I always feel like I'm just like trying to figure out what's good on Hulu. Handmaid's Tale season five. Haven't watched a minute of that shit. I'm amazed they pulled five seasons out of that book. That's kind of I like, That's kind of the feeling I got when I was looking at it. Like people were like, can it be? Like, is it gonna be over? Or have you watched all four seasons? No, no. Have you watched any of them? No. Anna, Anna, my wife has. Um, okay. but. But name she didn't dropped. read the book. I think that's where someone said Anna. Yeah, that's her name, Anna. But I, uh, I read yes, her last name. <laughs> I read the book. <laughs> Haven't watched the show. She's watched the show. Hasn't read the You've book. You've read the book. I've read the book. Is and the book good? The book. Uh, it, it's not nearly it's like as dystopian, right? Like yeah. Their breeding program. Well, that's that's what Margaret Atwood, who's the author, that's like her. That's her. Yeah, she that's did her another. Shindig. She she did like another <laughs> series called Oryx and Crack. Gotcha. Which. Um, uh, our friend uh, turned me on to, but yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know how they pulled five seasons out of the book. Same with, I don't know how the, Peter Jackson made three movies out of The Hobbit, kind of same deal. Yeah, fair. Um, but yeah, no, talk about a dark show, man. That's a yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, some of the stuff that happens in it. Um, Atlanta's final season. Just everything about that show. 
and it's just fantastic. So the final season starts September 16th. Watch it. It could it can get pretty surrealistic yeah. at times, yeah. but it, I mean it's still everything about it is great. So. Yeah, it's it's just there's I have nothing bad to say about that show in the slightest. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Is surrealistic a word? I should have just said it can surreal. get it can get surreal. Yeah. Surrealism. Surrealism? Surrealistic? Now see it doesn't Yeah. I think surreal have a good is the adjective. I it think. can get surreal at times. There you go. Damn. Next. All right, now we got some one-offs um, that I that I just thought were interesting. Pantheon is on AMC Plus. Okay. Um, September first. It's a show. It's animated. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Paul I'm Dano like, and like, Maude Apatow. I'm like Joaquin Phoenix and yeah. Gladiator. <laughs> yeah. I'm right here. Paul Dano and Maude Apatow um, are the two names that I recognize in terms of the voice cast. Okay. But it's created by Craig Silverstein, who, when I looked him up, he's listed as a computer scientist. Apparently, he was the first person employed by the two guys that founded Google. And so it's a show where the main character is this young girl, and she starts getting messages from her recently deceased father. Texts or something. Okay. And then it seems like there's some sort of conspiracy where his consciousness was uploaded to some server, something along those lines, like against his wishes, possibly, or like there's some nefarious stuff what going on. What genre is this? Um, serious? Funny? No, no, serious. It's more of like a. Uh, but animated? Yeah, like sort of a psychological drama okay. kind of thing. Um, animated. Interesting. Very, very, like, sort of almost science fiction-y. I would say it's kind of science fiction-y leaning. It, it kind of reminded me of a Scanner Darkly. Okay, cool. Sort of. I think Amazon Prime kind of has a, vibe. A, a show. like only The like animation that. wasn't the same as Scanner Darkly, okay, okay. but it, it had, it like, and you remember Titan AE, like that kind of, I don't know, man. It, <laughs> yeah, it's good shit. You're like one of the three people that have seen that. Yo. I love I saw that movie. Tiny A is pretty dope. The soundtrack is amazing. Yeah. Was it Matt Damon? I think so, yeah. I think so. That's a great movie. Anyway. Yeah. Pantheon. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. It comes out like next week. I'm going to hover. Sure. Yeah. It's, I mean, I watched the trailer. It looks good. Okay. It's one that stood out to me. Yeah. Um, and then I saw a trailer for this and um, it's called American Gigolo. It comes out on Showtime. Mm-hmm. Which show? That's a good start. Showtime makes some good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, September 9th, and it stars John Bernthal, the Punisher. Dude, John Bernthal is one. Of, he's one of those guys like Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhaney. It's like he's involved. I'm watching it. He only became cool to me after he did the Punisher. Actually, he was in. Um, I wasn't into Walking Dead, but I feel no, like no. that's where he got Wolf of Wall Street. He was in that. Oh yeah, was he? Yeah, yeah. He was in Ford versus Ferrari too. Yeah. But it, not big. But. First time I saw him was in Walking Dead. Yeah. And season two. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loved him in Walking Dead. No, I hated him. Uh, well, loved his acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like loved him as an actor, not yeah. loved his character. No, no, his character. When he, I when his Rob, character uh, got turned our into buddy, a our buddy Rob, not employee Rob. <laughs> Who's <laughs> also our man, buddy? Rob. Also our buddy. Our buddy who used to work here and doesn't currently named Rob. That very, very confusing. That really cleaned it up. Yeah. Thank Former you. employee Rob. Okay. Is Rob getting fired? No, Rob is not getting fired. Well, the way you just said that, you said no, Rob. No, that's to distinguish between current employee Rob and former employee. Rob. I'm very confused. <laughs> there is one very distinguishing factor between the two of them, but he I has... think we'll get canceled for it. No. Yeah. Uh, former employee Rob has a beard. Bearded Rob. And clean shaven Rob. Yeah. Well, he's got a chin thing going on. It's, it's not a beard. Okay. Goatee Rob and. It's not beard. a beard. Don't shake your head so like got that. Beard Ro- bearded Rob, Rob and goateed Rob. Time out. Yeah. When was the last time you shaved the side of your face, Rob? Huh? Tell us. Never? Never? Not once. I don't believe you. If that's true, that's amazing. It's this morning. It's baby song. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. You this need that good. for the beard. Whatever. Let's get the cut. Yeah. American <laughs> Gigolo. American Gigolo. 
With the Showtime. Punisher. With the Punisher. He's not the Punisher. In this. Yeah, he's going to be the Punisher. So, but Everyone's check this out. Die. He's, no, so he gets arrested. Okay. And then he gets found, like 15 years later, he gets acquitted. So he's innocent. And so it's all about him, like, coming back and, like, trying to, like, it's all about his relationships from, like, his past as a gigolo and, like, now out of jail and trying to sort of reconcile that. But then there's also this, like, thread of, like, a detective trying to figure out what actually happened. And apparently there's some, like, bigger conspiracy behind the fact that he got, he sort of took the fall for some crime. Like, it looks like he wakes up and, like, like it looks like he gets blamed for murder, oh. like with a client or something like that, you know. And it's like he's he's been drugged and he doesn't know, so he got blamed for this murder. So there's this whole other thing. It was like, well, that's totally out of left field. But it's like I think it got classified as a romance, like a like a romance story. It's very bizarre, but it just I just I for some reason I thought of his character in this. He was a gigolo, right? Yeah, sold his body. Yes, had sex with women, right? Played the Punisher as well. Yeah. Okay? Thomas Jane. Yeah. Played the first Punisher. Yeah. And then starting a show called Hung. Yeah. Where he just had a huge... Huge. Penis. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. I just That's think all it, I gotta say about that. What if you had those two characters in another show? It's like a gigolo and a dude with, who's, who's jacked, you know? Just like killing just people. Baby arm. <laughs> just, just, just killing. Tripod. Just killing. It's like a baby arm holding an apple. <laughs> twelve hours, Rob. I need this in twelve hours. Okay. Oh my god. One more show. We got one more, and it's uh, guilty pleasure. Yes. It's Lego Masters yes. season three, baby. Thumbs up already. Uh, Lego uh, reality show, game show. Yeah. Dude, they make some dope stuff out of Legos. I don't it's know how. Crazy. Yeah. Also, the plural of Lego is Lego, but I can't bring myself to accept that. It is. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Out of Lego. Yeah. It like, just doesn't feel right. There are a lot of pieces, so just put an S on it. It's not that hard. Got a lot. That's of on Fox. That's... Got a lot of mooses. <laughs> Right? There's a lot yeah. of mooses in the wilderness. Moose. Dude, they're big. They're big as fuck. How did I, I, why did I think that like a moose was the size of a horse? I don't know. Because you're an it's idiot? it's not. You're an idiot? It's not. It's like the size of an elephant. No, <laughs> calm like, down. They're big. Calm down. A really small elephant. <laughs> Have you seen an elephant? They're, they're gigantic, okay? Why, don't, why aren't moose in zoos? <laughs> That can be the title of this episode. <laughs> you stumped me with that one. I don't know. <laughs> like, is there a good reason? Is there like a zoo was... of just squirrels? No. <laughs> what I'm saying is like, right? Like, I've seen an elephant in person. Yeah. I There's no reason that I've seen an elephant and not a moose. I guess they're more exotic. I don't know. Nobody wants That's to go That's what I'm saying. I don't think an elephant is more exotic than a moose. I do. You could drive to Canada and you'd probably run into a moose. Oh, no, no, okay. I meant it the other way around. I'm saying, I thought, yeah, okay, elephants are more exotic, so they belong in a zoo. Yeah, you can't, like, drive also, to Canada and then all of a sudden there's like, an elephant in the woods, right? But you could, like, zoo's w- the worst. go to Canada and, like, you're in the woods and there's a good moose. And you're yeah, like, oh, that's wow. True. That's true. Then it's you... like there's not white-tailed deer in a, in a zoo. Yeah. <laughs> a zoo fair. full of just, you know, like, like cats. Like, like American... Yeah, American just domesticated wildlife. cats. Like yeah. that's called a kennel. Okay, that's, like, that's like called like a like a a kill shelter, basically. Yeah, that's I what... feel like people would go though. Like, why aren't there petting zoos with just dogs? There, there's like an island in Japan that's just full of rabbits. Oh, my buddy Ryan went there. Weird. There's cat cafes. Did you ever see the movie Isle of Dogs? No. Man, that's a great movie. Is that Wes Anderson? Yeah, I think yeah. so. You would you would probably hate it. Yeah. It, your wife would love it. Yeah. It's it's really good. It's very good. Okay. You had seen the news reports about the monkeys in Japan that are just like breaking into people's houses? Well, yeah, because of less tourism or whatever. So like monkeys are like having like gang wars because they don't get as much food from the tourists anymore. So they're like starving. Apparently so it like... wasn't for food either. Like they just craved violence. Yep. So I saw like pictures of like the monkeys like outside the windows just like staring at people. Yeah. And it's like... 
<laughs> what is going on? And you never know. Like a month later, everyone's dead, and Cillian Murphy's alone <laughs> in London because of the monkeys. <laughs> Go watch Twenty Days Later. It's the monkeys. I th- see, that was, this was like the perfect lead up for Planet of the Apes, and you went Twenty Days Later. I like it though. Yeah, Danny Boyle. I like it. Danny Boyle for the win. That's it. That's all we got. Thank you for that. That whole last tangent's getting cut, but. I wish it wouldn't. I mean, I feel like maybe just some clips. I feel like we're really missing, we need like we're a, really missing out. We need like a um, like credits to roll, and then have outtakes with the credits. Why ain't there no mooses and zoos? We're gonna have to start recording this like three months ahead of time with all the ideas we have, so Rob has time to edit it. <laughs> all right, Rob. Uh, we're outie. Thirty minutes. All right. See. <laughs> see you by the end of the day. See you in thirty, my guy. <laughs> <laughs>